everyone. This is Amateur Charles T7100. This is a residential HVAC R um, setup. This trainer has the ability to allow a student to be able to diagnose um, any problem that they may come across in the field. This system is an all-in-one system. It, is, it allows the students and the instructor to be able to uh, have, a, uh, have a compact unit, be able to move that wherever they need to throughout the classroom, and uh, provides a, a system where you can have multiple students working on one system at one time. Uh, this, this system is set up to allow the student to be able to uh, work from one area um, instead of having to go down and actually physically open up and touch the system. This allows for durability and longevity of the trainer. This also allows uh, for safety with, with, the, uh, with the students because um, you have your electric components and things that could be a hazard. So the student is actually working um, right up from here to help learn or diagnose and learn from the trainer. So this trainer also in, uh, incorporates um, a program called Fault Pro. And Fault Pro is used to insert a fault into the system. Um, now the faults can range from a blockage of the system, the faults could range from a simple uh, thermostat issue for a low voltage wire not connected properly. It can also diagnose a capacitor, fan blower, it can uh, diagnose compressor, the uh, condenser uh, fan. It can do um, a main power and uh, the disconnect box, the main power that you might find downstairs in the basement and your disconnect box that you would find outside next to the um, to the condenser you also have uh, you can diagnose your your furnace fan uh, for issues you can diagnose your your heat strips back there because this is a heat pump um, you can also diagnose your evaporator coil uh, also in the system you also have your your drainage for the evaporator coil you also have an overflow switch and a, and a pump over there. So just for, uh, for an example, I'm going to go ahead and insert a fault and then I'm going to act as a student and show you how you can easily diagnose the fault using this trainer. So this um, instructor would come up to Fault Pro. They would have a list um, already incorporated into the curriculum, and that's another big thing about this trainer. Uh, the curriculum is incorporated with the trainer, so again, it's an all-in-one one package. The instructor does not have to necessarily come up on their own with curriculum. They can go right to our um, Amatrol curriculum, see what they need to do, and incorporate it with the trainer. So we are going to use the number 25. So I'm going to put in um, a fault and this is called it's called number 22 but this what this fault was um, this fault simulated a break or a low voltage connection between uh, the thermostat the green or the blower into um, into the fan. So it's, it's demonstrating that it's a, a break and a disconnect somehow between green on the uh, thermostat and the blower on the furnace. So um, if the student has gone through um, their troubleshooting steps and maybe they've already identified, oh, I know what the problem could be, they can take their multimeter and using the grid, the, the diagnostic panel that's already here, they can come up and they can look at common and they can go to G and they can see that they have zero volts on the meter showing that, oh, yep, there's a break in the connection between um, G and the fan. So I'm not getting power or low voltage or 24 volts from my green to my furnace uh, blower motor. So once they've diagnosed that, um, they presented that to the instructor or however the instructor is conducting the class. The instructor can easily go, okay, well, Jim, Bob, you're correct. They can come back over here 
and clear the fault. And then as soon as that fault is cleared, they'll come over in the fan, uh, that'll reinsert the uh, 24 volts back on there and the fan motor starts. Um, now, what's nice about this, uh, as I mentioned, that it allows for longevity of the equipment because you'll have students that'll be working on this equipment uh, multiple times throughout the day, multiple students throughout the year or years of the equipment. So it saves on wear and tear of the equipment. Now, so I, I do know that getting um, hands on and being able to get inside and touch the equipment is a wonderful thing and they will have plenty of experience when they get out in the field. But this gives them the opportunity to, uh, in real time, with the plexiglass see the, the fault um, actively work and not have to worry about taking off panels, reinserting panels, um, taking off the, the condenser cover, reinserting the condenser cover. It shows them in real time exactly what's happening.